Today we are going to take a look at a new addition to the Core XY printer market. As it's popular today, Creality has shown us just how much they can get out the traditional Ender printer. So let's see if they can do it in the Core XY printer field as well. By the way, for the printer I want to thank Banggood for sending it to me for review. The new printer is called the Creality K1 and its biggest highlight is clearly its speed and print quality. Whether we are talking about the quality of the first layer or the overall quality of the prints. Print speeds on this printer reach up to 600 mm per second, which is truly impressive. Of course, the printer doesn't often reach the speed, but as you can see, the speed is more than fast anyway. With Creality quoting a typical speed of a 300 mm per second. With such speed comes the need for very good cooling of the prints. The Creality K1 has dual cooling system, with one large fan of the print head and another one cooling the print chamber of the side. This means that the printer delivers very good performance with overhangs and stringing is also practically not found on the prints. As well as good cooling you also need a proper extruder. The Creality K1 has a direct extruder which has a flow rate of up to 32 cubic millimeters per second. The nozzle reaches a perfectly sufficient temperature of 300 degrees Celsius. The nozzle heating speed should be priced, it's really fast. The Creality K1 can therefore print from most printable materials. The flexible build plate is a welcome feature, but I would recommend adding a PEI flexible build plate as it eliminates the need for glue. It's so much better that it's practically a must-have thing to buy. The original one that comes with the printer isn't bad, but we have had a couple of prints come of during printing. The build plate reaches temperatures of 100 degrees Celsius, which is standard today. The print area size is 220 by 220 by 250 mm, which is sufficient for most applications. If you want to print helmets, for example, Creality offers a large model, namely the Creality K1 Max, which is, as the name implies, larger among other upgrades. Controlling the printer with the display is very easy, it is touchscreen, large and very good. Unfortunately, the same cannot be said about the Creality Cloud Mobile app, which looks a bit unprofessional as it contains ads among other things. You can get rid of them by upgrading to the premium version, in which you get some free models, priority slicing, whatever that means, and a few other completely irrelevant benefits. Desktop slicer Creality Print is much better. That's probably because it's an old reskinned Cura, but it works well and contains all the settings you need. One minor complaint is about the camera movement in the slicer. It's not entirely intuitive, but the printer responds very quickly to settings made through the computer. Creality K1 runs on clipper, which is chopped and modified. The printer is controlled by a very chopped fluid interface, but it's enough for all basic tasks. If you want to have the printer lying next to you on the table or, God forbid, sleeping in the same room with it, forget it. It's a noisy printer due to the speed of the printing and the need for proper cooling. On the other hand, it prints really fast and very well. A minor problem can occur in the filament guide tube. It may not have the ideal angle, so it's good to check and correct this error. Creality show it us that they can make a good printer. It wasn't without its minor hiccups, but on the other hand, it's worth nothing that Creality sends printer owners a $2 solution package. The prints from the printer are very high quality and print very quickly. All in all, a very decent result for the money. If you like this printer, below the video you will find a link where you can buy it. 
at the same time there is also a discount code thanks to which you will have it at a great price if you like this video don't forget to like and subscribe to this channel so you don't miss anything